so hello guys so welcome to my session so in this session i am going to cover about the how do we plan for kubernetes cluster upgradation because the cluster upgradation is a mandatory task so every three month and uh, or the six month you have to upgrade your cluster in the real time project so so what all the process i follow so everything i have shared in my in this series okay so you, I have started from first like uh, how do we plan for Kubernetes cluster upgradation, what are the pre-tasks, what are the post-tasks during the cluster upgradation, how do we planning before cluster upgradation, those things I have covered in this series. Okay, so how do we get information about which version I have to update first because you have uh, uh, so many versions are available. So which version first I have to update first and then go to further uh, version. And also we have discussed about what are the challenges faced during the cluster upgradation, what are the uh, failure scenario, like in which uh, case your cluster upgradation will be failed. So those things I have covered, even I have uh, show you in the live session, like when I am going to try to cluster upgradation and, and my cluster upgradation is failed. So you can see here, I am trying to run my cluster upgradation and it is stuck in running state. So if you go to check in the portal, so you can see here my upgradation has been failed. So this is my cluster. Okay. So this is my cluster and you can see the cluster operation status failed. If you click on the failed status, you can see the upgradation failed. So in this series, like I have covered all the case scenario, like in which case scenario upgrade, upgradation will be failed. And if, suppose if you are uh, upgrade your cluster version to latest version, okay. Suppose suppose you you are running with this uh, 1.28 version, and now you you want to go to upgrade with 1.30 version. So like uh, suppose you uh, on existing application are supported or not. So how do we check the compatibility matrix? So those thing I have discussed in this series. Okay, so you can see uh, you can see some uh, uh, some application are here. Suppose Valero, Nginx, Ingress Controller, Rancher. So they are already running in the old version. And if you want to upgrade your cluster version to old to new version, so these application will uh, uh, compatible or not? Because I the same issue I face in my current project when I have up upgraded my Kubernetes cluster. So my existing application is not working properly. So they have the pod in the pod are in crash loop back state. Okay. And then after we have do some troubleshooting and found the root cause of the issue that my application is not supported with the latest version. So how do we fix those issues? So those things uh, in this session I have also covered two failure case scenario. So if you go here, so I have created the series Kubernetes cluster upgradation fail scenario and you can see like what uh, what type of issue face during the cluster upgradation like how do we fix this issue and what are the pre-planning, what are the post-planning, so everything I have covered in this series. So if you go here, the cluster upgradation, all the failure fail case scenario I have explain it very detailed way like how how do we do the pre-planning how do we do the post planning okay so i have created the some checklist like what the, all the checklist i follow in my in my current project so i have shared as a excel sheet like before the cluster upgradation you have to follow this step like what the things you have to check so those things i have explained it in this uh, in this uh, column like i have created some 18 checklist so that you have to also validate before cluster upgradation and what are the checklist to follow up uh, post uh, post cluster upgradation so you have to check this check this so if you attend interview and interview ask you tell me about your uh, so if interview ask you like have you done the cluster upgradation so that you can explain it very well like what uh, how do we plan for cluster upgradation what type of challenges you face during the cluster upgradation and how do you fix the issue so that after this you can easily explain the all the challenges or uh, how do we plan the cluster upgradation what are the pre tasks what are the post tasks which type of uh, failure scenario which type of challenges you face so everything you can explain it very well okay 
so here you can see and also like sometime if your cluster is upgraded and your cluster will be unstable post cluster upgradation so how do you fix the issue you, so you can see here when i have upgraded my cluster so my cluster is uh, not working properly so you can see we have only few clusters a few ports are there if you check all the ports you can see a lot of uh, issue happen see there are so many uh, orphan ports will be created so many ports are stuck in evicted state so a lot of issue like uh, we face so those things i have covered in the live session you can see here so a lot of issue i am facing during the cluster upgradation and some ports are out of memory so that you can see there are similar types of pod has been created post cluster upgradation so how do we fix those issues how do we clear all the ev evicted pod how do we clear all the orphan pod orphan pods so everything like uh, i have discussed in this in this session if you see here so now you can see that all the evicted pod has been deleted and you have only few pods are running there so earlier like uh, you can see a lot of uh, so my clusters work as a unstable post cluster upgradation okay so those thing i have covered in this series if you see here so in this uh, session you can see like uh, i faced the same issue like my cluster is failed you can see here my cluster in failed state and i'm getting this pdb related issue okay so i have explained in this series like uh, if you see here so i have explained very well in this series like about one and two hours let's session here so i have explained like what are the root cause of the issue and how do we fix the issue so at the in, at the beginning i i am getting this type of issue okay now after the end of the session now you can see my worker node is running and my cluster is stable now you can see my upgrade my cluster has been upgraded to 28.3 and the, all the ports are up and running if you see here now you can see the all the ports are in pending state but after the cluster upgradation now you can see all the ports are up and running state okay so in this way like uh, you have to follow this uh, series like you will get uh, the idea like how do we plan for cluster upgradation what type of challenges face and how do we how do we check the compatibility matrix uh, 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 with the existing application okay so that you will get idea like if you have to plan to upgrade the cluster so before to upgrade the cluster you have to first check the check all the existing application are compatible with the latest version or not so that you will get idea okay so if you want to get more detail about this series so you can contact me on my whatsapp number or, or you can mail me to get more information about this series okay and i have also created some uh, troubleshooting if you see here so here i have created 30 plus live troubleshooting so that uh, what all the issue i face in my project so based on that i have created those session so that you will also get uh, like real time exposure and you can will be more confident during the interview okay so i have discussed about some customer requirement like which type of customer requirements are there when you work in the real time project okay what type of uh, use case scenarios are there which type of project uh, uh, i have worked on so i have shared all the uh, my i will share my project detail infrastructure details so that like you will idea about this type of uh, the project uh, work in the kubernetes production environment okay and uh, what are the day to day tasks because uh, it's a mandatory thing like when you attend the interview so the interview ask you about your day to day tasks your role and responsibility in the kubernetes project so that uh, you can get idea about this i will explain each and everything like what's your day to day tasks and i will share my project details also what type of customer requirements are there so everything like i have created like uh, how do we create the pvc how do we set the quota how do we set the 
uh, road back what is the road ba road back strategy how do we create the image pool secrets and uh, like how do we set up the backup and restoration in the cluster so what all the failure cases like sometimes i uh, i was getting some issues uh, related to backup like i am not able to uh, i am not able to deploy the valero tool okay if you see here so here you can see the error like i am not able to install the application you can see the error installing valero and i am getting this type of issue like i am unable to install the application okay the, so the same application i like i am facing this issue i am unable to install the valero tool i am getting this type of error so those thing i have fixed in my session like if you see at the end of session now you can see now i am able to care deploy my application so but earlier it was facing some issue here you can see like i am unable to do uh, the uh, like we are getting some custom resource definition related issue and after do the troubleshooting like now i have fixed the issue and you can see my application has been deployed so those thing like i have covered and i have also created cover some uh, 100 plus the topics i have covered if you see here these are the course contents are there like what are the roll back application to previous version what is quota or how do we restrict the deploy pod so this is the basic one like if you don't have knowledge about kubernetes so you can start it from here like about the basic one like what is kubernetes what is the architecture of kubernetes what are all the component of master node worker node okay and uh, what is uh, and how do you deploy the pod using yaml file what is quota how do we restrict the deploy pod on name space okay let me show you suppose this is the customer requirements we have so suppose one of the customer requirements are there like uh, suppose the customer want to set below condition on production name space like they want to restrict the pod on per name space like you can't create the 20 pods per name space you have to set the limit like you have to create the pod only up to 200 gb memory okay the 16 cpu uh, cpu you can create pod consumption you have to set the limit on the name space level on this condition okay like you can't create the pvc more than 5 on the name space level so in this way like you have to uh, fulfill this requirement like how do you fulfill this requirement so sometime like uh, you will get this type of issue so the the project okay so these are the some use cases are there you see here so the like uh, how do we create how do we manage your images how do we create the private repository how do we create the secrets if you are getting some image pull back error so how do we fix the issue so what is the volume related topic like what is persistent volume what is pvc how to add pv into volumes how do we copy file from local machine to the container how do we download the file inside container to local machine okay how do we set up the backup tools so all the things i have covered in the in this series and you can see how do we plan for cluster upgradation what is service so which service generally we are using in the production environment so you can see around 100 like how do we do kubernetes migration like how do we migrate resource from cluster 1 to cluster 2 how do we migrate the pod from one location to another location and what's your day to day task i will share like some Ten plus Kubernetes project with some customer requirement, my project detail, and these are the topics I have already covered in this series. So if you go here, yeah. So in this series, you can see like last with last two week back, I have created this new series around like uh, the rollback strategy and what the uh, topic I have shared. So like hundred plus uh, topics are there. So those thing I have covered in this series, like the new batches on this Kubernetes. Okay, 
and more mostly i focus on the related to the uh, cluster upgradation like how do we plan the cluster upgradation what are the challenges faced during the cluster upgradation so those things i have discussed more on this you can see here like your my cluster is unstable post cluster upgradation lots of pods are stuck in evicted state okay so how do we fix all the issues you can see like i run the one command on automatic my all the evicted pod are deleted okay like all the often pod has been deleted in the single command so that you can also get the real time exposure on the kubernetes so these are the topics like i have covered so if you have if you want to learn or if you want to get the exposure then you can reach to me and i will share all the details so you have to contact on my whatsapp number so these are the topic what i have shared so thanks